Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see different types of alternators, that is salient pole and non-salient pole machines. In the previous video about alternators, we discussed the construction and working of alternators or AC generators or synchronous, synchronous generators in detail. And here we will see the types of alternators. We know that in alternator, the essential requirements are there must be a stator part and a rotor part. And in alternators, armature is the stationary part and field windings are the rotating parts for alternators. And based on the construction of this rotor, the alternators can be two types. First one is salient pole machines and non-salient pole machines. So now let us discuss about them in detail here. So first is salient pole machines. These machines are also known as projecting pole type machines. Okay. In salient pole machines or projecting pole type machines, the rotor consists of large number of poles when compared with the non-salient pole machines and they are mounted on magnetic wheel. That magnetic wheel structure is nothing but a rotor and the poles are made up with laminated steels. In order to avoid or to reduce the eddy current losses, these poles are laminated and the rotor winding is provided on the poles and which is supported by the pole shoes. Okay. The function of pole shoe is to support the poles to carry the field windings or simply rotor windings. Okay. The rotor consists of or the rotor have large diameter and shorter axial length. This is because it consists of large number of poles. Okay. For the construction of salient pole type machines, it must consist large number of poles. So, make it sure that in order to carry large number of poles, the rotor must have large diameter and shorter axial length. This point is very important for technical exams. Okay. For salient pole machines. And normally they are used in low speed electrical machines. The range may be 100 RPM to 1500 rp because it consists of large number of poles due to this reason they are mainly used in low speed machines or sometimes that can be medium speed machines and the area of application is mainly it is used in hydroelectric power plants this point is also important for technical exams the next one is one of the important point about this we know that Ns is equal to 120 F by P. This is the major one of the major equation that will give you the relationship between the synchronous speed, frequency and number of poles in alternator. So as the rotor speed is lower, then more number of poles are needed to maintain the frequency because Ns is equal to 120 F by P. That means speed is directly proportional to the frequency and which is inversely proportional to the number of poles. From here we will get frequency F is equal to Ns into that is synchronous speed synchronous speed into number of poles divided by 120. That means if we want to increase the frequency then we can adjust to the speed but the speed is inversely proportional to the number of poles so if the number of pole is very very high then the speed of the machine will be very less so that for if the for salient pole machines number of poles are very very high so the speed is very less so that they are mainly used for low speed or medium speed machines normal case salient pole machines consist of 4 to 16 number of poles normally 
the number of poles can be of in this range okay so the this equation is very important okay and uh, the next point is the flux distribution is relatively very poor that means since okay in this picture you can see the construction of saline pole machines here you can see this is the pole shoe and the tip of the pole shoe that is projected outwards in each case you can see that so due to this projected poles the flux distribution is not uniform in the air gap okay if it is uniform from here to here then we can say that the flux distribution in the air that is uniform but here due to this projected poles the flux distribution in the air which is not uniform so that uh, the distribution is uh, the flux distribution is very poor when compared with the non saline pole type machines so the generated emf waveform is not good as in non saline pole machines due to this unequal distribution of fluxes in the air gap losses are very very high okay and generally they need damper windings in order to prevent rotor oscillations during the operation that means damper windings are needed for saline to pole machines we know that these machines have large number of poles and speed is directly inversely proportional to the number of poles during the peak load condition and during the light load conditions the speed will be different due to this different load conditions the speed of rotation of the rotor will changed due to this reason due to the change in load conditions the rotor speed will also changes and due to this reason the machine may oscillate and due to these oscillations the losses will also very high and in order to have this oscillate oscillatory moment of this motor is generally known as hunting so we can avoid this hunting effect or the oscillation effect of this rotor field for the machine we can avoid by using the damper windings in the saline to pole machines due to this unequal distributions okay so this point is very important so saline to pole machines needed damper windings to avoid the hunting or oscillations during the operation that may be during the load changing conditions okay these are major points about saline to pole machines and the next type of machine that is non saline or smooth cylindrical or simply cylindrical type or non projecting pole type or drum type of motor these are the various names of non saline pole machines okay non saline pole machines are cylindrical in shape and consist of parallel slots okay here you can see the cylindrical rotor that consist of parallel slots in order to carry rotor windings and this is the cross sectional view and they are smaller in diameter but having larger axial length their construction is robust as compared to saline pole type machines and which consist of number of poles normally 2 to 4 it consists of less number of poles due to this we can say that the diameter of the machine is less and axial length is very high okay this point is important so in normal case the number of poles can be 2 or 4 the flux distribution is uniform and sinusoidal and hence they will give better emf waveform when compared with the saline pole machines and we can say the losses are also very less noise is also very less when compared with the motor and normally their speed may be very high from above 1500 rpm to 3000 rpm for the range of saline pole which is below 1500 rpm and it is mainly used in nuclear power plants gas power plants and 
thermal power plants. They are high speed machines. These machines are generally known as turbo alternators. That is one of the another name for this non salient pole machines. They are the high speed machines. Okay. And they do not need damper magnetics because the flux distribution is uniform and during every changing load conditions the fluctuations or the oscillations will automatically damped out by the windings okay these are the major points about the salient and non-salient pole type machines okay thank you